I walked down some stairs and it did not, they did not have railings on them and I knew I was slipping. Marianne McCartney has had back problems for years, but after this writer slipped on the ice in January, a new chapter in her pain began. It was intense. It seems like the pain of the, my lower um, back was more dispersed. This was just like a uh, constant hammer. So you can see that the vertebral body is crushed down and there's this, this thin bone here now versus the nice tall bones here. Dr. Kevin McGuire, co-director of the Spine Center at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, this says MRI spinal fractures like this MRI. one are becoming a major problem as the population ages. In fact, one in two women and one in four men over the age of 50 are at risk of spinal fractures due to osteoporosis. It's a condition where bones in the spine become porous, weak, and brittle, causing them to easily break and collapse. Well, one of the more common things that I hear is the vacuum cleaner. I was picking up the edge of the rug um, uh, with the va and, and vacuuming under it, and I had acute onset of back pain. Now an innovative procedure is helping thousands with these spinal fractures return to a healthy, active lifestyle. It's called kyphoplasty. With kyphoplasty, a surgeon makes two small puncture holes around the affected area of the spine. With the help of x-ray guidance, a tiny balloon is inserted and inflated inside the spinal fracture itself, restoring the vertebral height. Then the cavity is filled with bone cement to form an internal cast. You can think about putting the cement in the vertebral body as if you were placing grout between tiles on a floor. It's not a glue, but it offers stability in the same way grout offers stability to the tiles on the floor. The procedure takes an hour, and patients are kept overnight in the hospital. As with any procedure, there are risks, including an extremely rare risk that the cement will leak and cause symptoms. That's why Dr. McGuire says kyphoplasty should be reserved for when a back brace and medications fail to control the pain. He says it also works best if done within three months of the fracture. We're talking 93% success rate, and it's immediate. So, you know, the patient wakes up, and that pain that they had is gone. Marianne says not only is the pain gone, but her spine feels stronger overall. There was absolutely no pain compared to before. I would have to say it went from 10 to 1, and I don't feel a thing in that area now. It's amazing.